Hey folks, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, read your moisture values using this uh, TE215 moisture sensor right over here and uh, the ESP8266, um, which this is the 12E version, which has the onboard USB and Wi Fi. So this is very similar to an Arduino. Actually, we're going to program it using the uh, Arduino ID. There's a lot of different ways to program it. Uh, that's what we're going to do today. So in order to get started with this, um, you're going to need one of these uh, um, moisture sensors right here, okay? Um, and I actually bought a whole bag of these for like $8 on Amazon. I think there was like five of them. I'll leave a link in the description below for that, as well as everything else we use here. Um, so first thing you want to do is you want to get your uh, ESP8266 set up on a breadboard like this. Um, <clears throat> and we want to kind of identify where our pins are at. So... What I'm going to do here is, if you look at this guy, okay, see if we can focus up a little bit. That's not going to work. The leftmost pin is the VCC, okay? So that's where your um, that's where your voltage is going to go in. And the next pin is the ground. And then from there, it's uh, the next pin is the digital output. And then the last pin is the analog output. So you can do both digital or analog. I think for this video, we're just going to work on the um, on the digital. So <clears throat> what I do here actually um, is pop this guy in here like so. Here, we'll put it all the way on the edge, okay? And <clears throat> for the VCC, we hook it up here, okay? All the way to that fourth pin. And then we come over here and we go for the 3.3 volt pin uh, in the SPA266. Okay, and you can see the, the ground is right next to it. Okay, uh, then we go same thing, ground right here. Okay, make sure it's in there. And then all the way over here to ground as well. Okay, see that? All right, good. Now the sensor line, uh, if we're doing analog, we would go over here, which is the only analog pin on the um, ESP8266. But we're gonna do digital, and I picked pin three, which on this board is labeled RX. So there's some, um, the pinouts change if you're using, if you're programming it, flashing with the Arduino code. Um, so that's actually gonna be pin three, and I'll show you that pinout uh, in another screen in a minute. And then we connect that to the digital one, which is the third input right there. Now, I've done that, okay? And now you see this, we're actually gonna need access to this potentiometer, the blue thing back there. And that's why we have our screwdriver. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna pick this guy up. Now that I have it wired in, without unplugging all the wires. Okay, and then I'm gonna move it forward so that the same pin lines up right there, okay? So there, just like that. And you can see it's still plugged in the back, but that way we just know which pins we're working with. Actually, I'm gonna move it up one more just to give it some breathing room. Okay, there we go. And then that'll give us easy access to this guy right here. Because remember on your breadboard. Okay, so we're all wired up here. Um, and like I said, you have access now to, to this potentiometer, so that'll help you out. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug this thing in USB and we're going to look at uh, some of the code that actually goes into it. Make sure you have your glass of water handy uh, to test it out and be careful with some of these components. You know, try only to dip it in uh, when you dip this thing in, try only to dip it into the last couple. Um, try not to get in here and bridge these and, you know, so just be careful um, when you're doing this. So, yeah, uh, so hang tight for a second and we'll start looking at some code. Okay, so we're back here, and um, here's our ESP8266, all wired up from before. Uh, we have a little glass of water here ready to go. So, um, and then over here we have some code. So make sure, you know, when you take this in and out, just watch out when you dip it in. Um, but over here, uh, we have some of the code. I wanted to actually show real quick, here's the pinout uh, diagram for the ESP8266 uh, when you're flashing with Arduino. So this is the... Um, this RX pin right here is GPIO3, okay? You can see right there. 
All right, so now, <clears throat> looking at some of this code here, um, I already went ahead and, and wrote this, but uh, essentially we'll, we'll take a walk through it. So this first line, digital pin three, specifies that pin three, as I said, Rx pin, okay? And that's where our, we're gonna read from. Um, and then in our setup function, okay, we have uh, serial begin and just being the serial monitor, and then uh, the pin mode we set the digital pin to input, so we read from it. Now, <clears throat> down in our loop, uh, we read from the digital pin, and actually the high side is dry, and the uh, low reading is actually when it's wet, okay? Uh, and that's actually going to change depending on how we adjust this potentiometer over here, and, um, and um, you know, how deep you actually put this guy in there. So, what I want to do actually is, let's cable this guy up, let's make sure we have the right USB port and all that. Plug in the USB, okay. And that's just going straight into my computer. And let's see what we got here for ports. USB zero, okay. Uh, and then usually we have to come in here and do something like that <clears throat> to give the proper permissions for the USB port. Okay, so now back up here. Um, let's see what we got. Let's load this guy up. Let's see what we got. Now incidentally we have these lights here um, and then when this one's on that actually means that the uh, this, this one means it's getting power and when this one's on it means that there is a um, that's actually detected moisture. Okay, so you can see it hasn't detected moisture, but now the thing about this is you have to kind of tune it. Um, and unfortunately, this is a small screwdriver I have, but you get into this thing and you kind of turn it a little bit one way or the other to hold it down. So there you go. So I turn it to the right until it turns on, and then I turn it back just a little bit. You see that? Okay, so you can't see that. Okay, so now it's on, right? And then I, and then I come in here again. And now when I dip it in, you can see it turns on the light, okay? And it also matters the depth. You can see it almost turns on at the same depth every time, okay? You see that? Now, <clears throat> let's go back up here and let's start the serial monitor. You can see it's reading dry, okay? And, and even though this is still a little wet, like some residual wetness on there, um, it's actually dry because the, the two leads aren't, aren't touching. So let's go ahead and put it in there. Let's see. See what happens. There we go. Let me look at that. And that's it. And that's how you detect the moisture uh, with an ESPA266 and the TE215 moisture sensor. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Links to all these uh, all these tools and products will be in the description uh, as well as the source code. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching.